Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah hirupil alamin. Assalatu wassalamu ala asrufil anbiya iwal mursalin. Sayyidina Muhammadin wala alihi usabihi ajma'in amma ba'du. In this beautiful moment, I would like to say thank you to our honorable judges and all the audience who present in here today. Before I start, have you guys know me already? Therefore, I would like to introduce myself first. Hi everyone, my name is Nur Hirani. I'm delegate from Senior High School, One Somalia. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to tell you a story. The title is The Legends of Princess Mentalika. Here is the story. Long time ago, there was a kingdom in Lombok Island. It was ruled by a king named Tonjambo. He was a wise king. He had a queen named he also had a beautiful daughter named Princess Mentalika. Everybody knew about Princess Mentalika, beauty and kindness. Even the people from other kingdom around the island. Prince from all over the place want to marry her. They come to propose her. <coughs> Hello, Princess Montalika. I come here to propose you. Will you marry me and be my wife? Um, I'm sorry, but can you please give me some time to think about that? I can't answer it right now. Princess Montalika was a kind girl. She hate to make people sad. So, when Dustin came to purpose her, she was very confused. She couldn't decide, and she didn't want to make them sad. So one day, to solve the problem, King Don Chamberu then held a competition with Sir Kutavich. He called all the prince to take part in our great competition. The rules is simple. Whoever shot the target perfectly, he could be the husband of Princess Mentalika. Your Highness, um, I'm sorry, princess, but I heard about competition for getting you. Have it come to your ear? Asked one of the princess Mentalika made servant. Yes, I have heard it. And it happens because of me. So I will find a solution for this. Answered Princess Mentalika. After that, Princess Mentalika decided to meditate to look for food. In other situations, one by one, all the participants tried their best to be the winner. But how does the fact? There's no winner. Because all the participants were paid. And because there's no winner, they are to argue. But what is the competition for? Of course, I'm the best here. Huh? What do you say? You wish. Of course, I'm better than you. The argument was getting hard, harder. And finally, they all were fighting. Soon, the fighting got bigger. It was like a war. And on the next day, Princess Mentalika invited all the prince and other people together to the Kutabich. After all the prince had together, Princess Mentalika climbed the hill and said loudly, 
Father, Mother, and all of you here, I know me and to me, but I can't ask you. I don't want you to fight because of me. I want to be somebody that everybody can help. I want to be Nyawe that you can enjoy together. The king and all the people in the beach didn't understand what she mean. The king then come to her. But do you know what happened to Princess Mandalika? She turned me to the sea. Her body was disappeared in the big waves. Everyone was surprised. All the prince tried to swim to find the princess. But they found nothing. After several hours trying to search the princess, they suddenly they found all the scar of the sea world sandwich. The king and the queen then realized that their daughter had turned the sea world. This is one thing called Nyali. Until now, people in Lombok always try to catch Nyali. Nyali is very delicious, and the tradition of catching Nyali is called Pesta Bel Nyali. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the message we can take from the story is we must be willing to set the risk for others and be wise in making a big decision. And maybe that's all. Thank you for your attention and the last word. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.